Oh, first morning here. Wow. The, ho the house is pretty messy, obviously, but I don't know. It's, it's the jungle. It's my jungle. It's what I grew up with. It's the wrong season. Otherwise, you might be able to see some dragon fruit up in the night blooming cirrus up there. But, yeah, part of it is that her dog is blind. And so she has all these things around to try to make it so the dog can't fall out on the edge of the porch. Like here, three or four foot drop. Not a big deal. Other side, it's more like 25 foot drop. So, <laughs> that's part of that. Today, I think we're going to try going into town and seeing if they'll let us go to her office in Lahaina. They've been denying people every day so far, so we'll just have to see. All right. and, and the it's Waihikuli. The They're going through right now, but some of these people are work, walking through and looking and at the, the remnants of their homes. All the cars, and all the yeah. cars are gone. Yeah. Further, so further happens. to the north, it, it's a little bit better, but not much. It gets start skipping homes the further north you go. Oh, jeez. So many people are going to be homeless now or displaced at least. This was all housing. Yeah, this okay, is. Okay, so the cannery is still standing. Oh, look at oh all my this gosh. Stuff. Look, oh, can... look at these power lines down. Careful. Jeez. Oh, man. The gas station not even touched. And the cannery, the cannery is still standing. It's still here. Told that the cannery was gone. I think they meant something else, maybe, perhaps. The shopping center is still, he still here. Okay, well, maybe we can park and walk to um, your office. It's a long walk. All right, so we're going to Grandma's office right now, walking, just because I don't know if they're letting vehicles through right now. But we're going to see what it looks like. This will catch fire later, and I will put it out. Some of this is burned, but... A remarkable amount of buildings still here. Yep, some of the homes and places are good, but we don't. I don't know the status of the power station. Power is down, but that doesn't mean the power station is down. We're going to have to find out, because if the power station is down, it may be at bare minimum six to seven months before they're able to get that back up and running properly. That means even if a business was not burned to the ground around here, they may not be able to operate not for a long time oh this is devastating all these power lines came down this was pizza hut now it's gone oh, the food truck made it some of these buildings are still here but that wall is just leaning it's nothing supporting it if that building goes down i'm probably gonna have to demolish it the bug they always had on display here is gone the, all the lights the sign's fine but it's this is tremendous. All, the, all these buildings brought down. Aloha from the jungle in Honokwau. Just heading downstairs, I figured I'd give a recap for yesterday. Hello, alien. <laughs> so, yesterday, woke up. Blessedly, there was rain first thing in the morning. We had a little bit of coffee, then we went into town. When we got into town, they would let us into Lahaina, but only just barely, and they were redirecting traffic. So what we did was we went and we parked behind Starbucks, and then we walked towards Grandma's office. It's tough because she has a really bad hip, but she wanted to come with, and it wasn't that far a walk. Maybe just shy of a half mile. And so we went there... Went and it went, started looking around. There were hundreds of cars burned to a crisp. And occasionally, one that wasn't. There were thousands and hundreds of homes down to the foundation of lava, rock, concrete, or otherwise. In the industrial portions, there were buildings made of all kinds of materials, toppled, destroyed, and burned. And when we finally got to her office after passing by cars that got hot enough to turn into liquid metal and flow until they cooled, we found her office destroyed and mo pretty much all of her stuff as well. A lot of her retirement valuables and things of that nature. 
So I grabbed a stick, started sifting through the rubble. It was still hot from the fire, still couldn't go inside. So I had to go back to the car another half mile back and grab that, put on my shoes. On my way back, one of the posts, one of the telephone posts had caught fire and I had to use my hands and dirt because that's all I had with me at the time in order to put it out. Luckily we did and it was fine, but I met dozens of people searching for their homes, some finding them, many not, and prayed with a couple people. It was, it was a really rough night, really, really rough day. Got back there and we were able to open up one of her safes slash kind of metal boxes, not a real safe, and um, get some of her old jewelry out of there. Um, we're, we're trying to figure out how to restore it and if any of it will retain its value. But alas, we still need to go back into the center of the island and find a way to get all of her important documents back. So after that, we headed home, ate some food, went to the center of the island, and that's when I was able to contact everyone. My mother, my grandmother were able to talk to people who were in trouble and decided, you know what? It's been a hard enough day. We're going to go out to a nice meal. So we went to a nice meal, had lovely service. A lot of very kind people were there. Went to the stores, grabbed things that we thought we could need. And alas, here we are. And I'm here with a plumeria tree. Now this morning, I'm going to be grabbing tools. And we'll be heading back into town, which is Lahaina in this case. Or at least what's left of it. And we're going to try to open up some more of her safes and try to see if there's anyone else who needs help. Anyway, aloha. Thanks for the support, guys. Really appreciate it. it means the world. Communicate, yeah. All these people are just trying to get a hold of people to... Apparently there's some way of communicating here. That's why they're all... But this is our second day going into, into town. We have gloves, tools, and all the rest so hopefully we'll be able to recover some more stuff we were able to open the filing cabinet in the fireproof box and it wasn't fireproof but it was fire resistant so some files have been maintained and maybe even saved so we're gonna try to open the lower one see if there's anything else we can get